All right, guys, that's going to conclude my uh, little video on how to install new shocks on your Ram the hardest way possible. So now the next thing I'm going to do is go to the gas station, get a drink, and test out these air shocks, put some air in them. The minimum required PSI is 20 PSI, and I think the maximum was 120 or 150. I got to double check on that. Cool thing is that the shocks actually have little markings on them that show you what max PSI is and what the minimum is. I'm not gonna get underneath there and look again. Uh, I'm just gonna put in about 20 pounds and uh, roll with that. I'm also gonna leave out the rear spare tire because it's just extra weight and I wanna use this to tow. I don't want any other extra weight. So all right guys, let's go get that done. All right, if you guys are wondering what it is that I'm gonna tow, it's the Jeep. So the reason why I put the air shocks on the Ram is because it is lowered and when I do tow the Jeep, I need to be able to put air in the shocks to go ahead and level out the truck so the front of the truck isn't lifted up super high. So it all worked out like a charm. I loaded up a U-Haul trailer, put the Jeep on the back, and she was good to go. As for the exhaust, the Jeep right now has a set of headman headers with a true dual uh, header. So it's going to have two mufflers. And for the mufflers, I chose the Borla Pro XS mufflers. So the only thing left to do is load up fuel up and head north to Buddy's muffler shop to get this done. This is the first the time. This is the first time it'll be on camera how loud it is. Driving this bus. All right, guys. So we dropped the Jeep off at the shop. Stopped by our friend Bree's house. She made all the new decals for the Challenger for We Are Mopar. And now we're about to have some brunch with my parents. This is kind of uh, what it looks like when you start doing a million errands at one time. So let's go meet up with my parents, and then we'll pick up the Jeep and see what it sounds like.
looks good. Okay, man. All right, guys. So, wow, what a long day. So we had a rush because we had a little trouble getting the Jeep on the trailer. Um, and then we had a rush all the way back from North Austin, all the way back down to San Marcos in order to return that U-Haul trailer that we rented so we wouldn't get any uh, late fees or fines. So right when I got home, I had to just drop the uh, drop the Jeep, go take the trailer. So when we picked up the Jeep, we didn't get a sound clip or anything, but that's what I'm gonna show you guys right now to show you um, the killer job that Buddy's Mufflers did. But beforehand, I wanna show you guys the steering wheel that I finished up. It's a Laredo steering wheel from like a Wrangler but it also has the uh, the center cap and the rivets, and this wheel was originally a gray color, so I wanted to paint it black to match the interior of the Jeep. And when I was taking it apart, I broke the plastic ring with the fake, um, with the button head bolts on there. So I ended up fabricating a ring out of steel and adding actual button head screws on there with like Allen key heads, um, and then just sanding it to give it a brush look and then clear coating it. Uh, so I want to show you guys what that looks like. So there it is right there. You can see the brush look that I gave it. But yeah, I ended up making this ring. Uh, I just traced the shape in here, cut it out of a piece of metal, and that is the final look. So I think it gives it a really nice personal touch. It looks a little more uh, robust. And again, this steering wheel is much nicer. It's thicker. Uh, but I did paint this all black and kept the... What I was trying to do was tie in this brush look on the spokes right here into this piece right there and i think uh i think i pulled it off anyways let's jump out and show you guys the borla mufflers because that's what i decided to go with uh, bore is a good brand i wanted the slant cut exhaust tips and chrome to tie in the wheels and the other little bit of chrome would be kind of like an emblems and cj and jeep and of course in the front we've got this hardware which is also chrome and of course the headlight uh, and turn signal bezels are also chrome. So that little bit of chrome just to tie it all in. Again, borla the sticker on this side. Those came with the borlas. And then you can see the exhaust tips. And under here, it is true dual. So we've got the first borla and then the second borla coming out of the headers. So buddies did a magnificent job with that. So let's not waste any more time. Let me give you guys a little sound clip here. So you guys remember I used to crank this thing up and it sounded like a straight up monster truck. Now it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a lope. Nothing crazy like the Challenger. Hopefully you guys can hear that, it's nice and quiet. And with the mufflers on there now, cause it's just mufflers, there's no cats and the headers. It, um, it has a little more back pressure and it actually drives a lot better. So let's see if I can get just a little sound clip. Again, nothing too crazy. Just a nice, quiet, Borla equipped CJ7. And of course the, the headers, which you can see right down there. But now I actually gotta tune the carburetor. It's not tuned or anything. So that'll be next once I drive it a little bit. It's kind of low on gas. So, because it's low on gas, I won't be doing that today. I'm actually gonna get ready for a range day tomorrow. Uh, fire off some weapons with a good friend of mine, Alex, up in Austin. Uh, so for today, we're just gonna put this bad boy away. And then um, maybe sometime tomorrow, I'll be able to drive it around more, put some gas in it, and then start tuning the uh, Weber carburetor. All right, we've got the Jeep back in the garage. It's literally between the last kit and this kit. It was about 45 seconds. Um, if you've been wondering about the Challenger, here she is. No changes, plenty of tires to run through. Um, but yeah, so next step on the Jeep is what I'm about to do now is put the the high lift jack back on here. I took it off just to tow it. And then when it comes to the spare tire carrier, you see right now there's nothing in the back of the Jeep. I wanna get a bumper that actually uh, holds the spare tire versus it leaning up against the factory tire carrier because it's just, it's, the 35 is so heavy that it starts flexing the body and I don't like that. Um, so yeah, that's next few things that are going to happen to the Jeep. And of course, like I mentioned, I think a trillion times before carpet center console. And I think we are going to add a rear seat. 
So that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys like these videos, if you're enjoying the Jeep content, please let me know, leave a comment down below, hit that like button. And if you love these videos and you want to see some of the next adventures we go on with our Jeep, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Until next time guys, peace out.